I'm indoors because yeah. they can't fly and be thanks to budget cuts. So they're sort of playing video games instead. Yeah, they're playing video games, but make no mistake, they are not fooling around. These games are as serious as they come. The cockpit is where fighter pilots belong. Everyone here loves to fly, so it's frustrating being told that you're not allowed to do what you love. But military pilots are trained to adapt, and they're making the most of the situation. Aircraft don't do as well when they don't fly on a daily basis, and so it's important to fly. However, at the same time, we're doing everything we can to sharpen our skills. Right now, we are spending all of our time in the simulators. Four flight simulators worth $50 million sit inside this building on base. They're in use all day, five days a week, and they're highly classified. This is the only picture allowed. You sit down in the seat, you actually close a video projection clamshell around you that has 360-degree images. The images themselves don't look that much different from a flight simulator that you can buy for your home computer, but the software is far superior and the flight crew isn't sitting in a desk chair, they sit in a real cockpit. Full controls, all the buttons, all the switches, all the controls are exactly how they are in the jet. The pilots say it works well for some skill sets, but it can't replicate the motion of an aircraft that can fly twice the speed of sound. And whenever the stand down is lifted, Hickey says for that reason, he'll transition carefully. It's probably going to be a little intimidating, honestly. It's not like getting into a Cessna. No, it's not. And it's pretty much the direct opposite of riding a bicycle. Uh, it is a perishable skill, and if you don't lose it, you definitely lose it. Now, the yeah. fighter wing plans to upgrade its flight sims, by the way, in the next week or so oh, with high-definition screens. Yeah, not we like riding a bike. We want them practicing. We want them practicing. It looks like fun to go in there, although I don't think any of us ordinary folks will ever get a chance. I know. You would be the first one. <laughs> I would like Thanks. to.